Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Sentinel fighting armor figure unboxing and review video. Now today we are taking a look at none other than Deadpool himself. To be honest, I wasn't expecting to love this line as much as I do now. It has been, for me at least, one of the standout hits of this year. So yeah, I'm super excited to get this guy out here. Now I picked up mine from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is down in the description. They have 12 month installment plans and an awesome reward system. What we are going to do now though is get the box laying flat in the light box and do the unboxing. Here of course we have the box art and right up here front and center we've got a massive image of the figure himself, his name down below done in this gorgeous silver metallic. If we flip open the front cover we've got another image of Deadpool and a sneak preview of the figure inside. We also have a bunch more product shots showcasing some various poses on the back. Now like I said in the intro this line has been a standout for me this year and the reason I'm highlighting that is because I had absolutely no experience with Sentinel before I started reviewing this series and they're into the Spider-Verse smiles and I have been suitably impressed for a few reasons that I think will become more clear throughout the course of the video. First in-hand impressions are very positive. For those of you who don't know this figure is chock full of die cast. He is a hefty boy so yeah he feels awesome in hand but he does come with one and two trays so what we are going to do now is get all of his accessories laid out in the light box and take a closer look at everything he comes with. Here we have all the parts and pieces. Now starting off with the display base first if you've seen my Iron Man and Captain America reviews then this will be a familiar sight. It's the exact same display base. I love the square footprint. I also love the fact that you can push out these clear windows and move the display base arm to whichever side you'd like it to be on. You have some movement side to side, forward and back on multiple joints and a swivel as well, plus a clamp so you can get him in the air nice and securely. Now being Deadpool of course he comes with some katana which are really nicely done. They're slightly stylized, the blade is very thin and you do have some metallic silver on the front part. There's some tech detail on the handle and I'm pleased to report there are sections on Deadpool's body that you can store all of his weapons including his two pistols. Once again very stylized, the back kind of looks like a desert eagle with some extra parts and pieces on the front here. You also have a little bit on top that kind of acts as a sight. Do be careful though that feels very thin and fragile and just like Deadpool himself this thing is painted in a gorgeous metallic candy red and as I said you do get two of them. You also get four shuriken. These are completely unpainted black plastic but they get the job done. They're great for just storing on his hips which you will see in just a second. You also get a full complement of hands and being an armorized type character you do have some repulsor detail painted in a really nice metallic blue. But I'm sure y'all are just as curious as I am what Deadpool actually looks like so what we are going to do now is get Deadpool himself out here and take a closer look. Here we have him standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that, although that's technically a lie because he does have pretty much every single one of his weapons attached to his body so I take that back. He does have accessories but he looks like a total badass. I love the proportions, I love the paint applications and I love the weapon storage. This guy is an absolute beast. He also is made pretty much entirely of die cast. He's a very hefty figure so I'm pretty sure when you get him and you open up the box you're going to be just as surprised as I was when I unboxed my first fighting armor release because the quality 
definitely is there. What we are going to do now though is take him off the rotating turntable, punch in and take a closer look at the details. Here we have him up close and personal, and even though it is still relatively early on in the video, I've already made up my mind. This guy is now my personal favourite of the line. Everything that worked so very well with Captain America and Iron Man works exceptionally well here too, but the colour scheme, the whole concept of an armorized Deadpool, plus seeing all of the additional weapons pegged in and stored on the body, yeah, it just works. Now let's talk about the head sculpt or the helmet first. It's very clearly still Deadpool, and I love the fact that it comes back to a point, kind of like the little piece on his hood that hangs off the back. I know that that's not really intentional, because Cap and Iron Man had that too, but it just works so much better for Deadpool. I also love the way they've done the eyes. Yes, it's relatively straightforward, a metallic candy red, the black for the eyes, but the metallic silver pops. When the light hits it, they do look like they are genuinely glowing. And speaking of glowing, we have to take a moment to appreciate this candy metallic red. It literally pops. There are so many layers of metallic flake embedded into the paint that really I can't describe it in any other way than saying it's gorgeous, because that's exactly what it is. Now let's talk about some new parts, because most of this is reused from the other figures in the line. This piece on the back is new. It pegs in on those little port sections, and you slide the sword straight in. It's very simple, and it gets the job done. You can also see that it's kind of staggered, so this one sits up a little bit higher than the other. Then coming down to the hips, you do have some storage for his shuriken, and these pieces where you can store the firearms. However, if you're not a fan of them, you can simply remove them. They're kind of this rubbery type clamp that hooks around these detail sections on the legs. I don't know if that's what they had intended when they initially started designing these figures, but it flawlessly pegs in and doesn't really move around a whole bunch. Plus, he looks even better with all of these weapons stored on his lower half. He also has the classic Deadpool logo as part of his armorized belt, which of course, it's Deadpool. It absolutely had to be there. Now instead of this being a red suit with various black sections, it's now, of course, a red suit of armor. And I love that they've still kept all of the black sections kind of where they're supposed to be. You can tell immediately that this is Deadpool in an Iron Man suit of armor. The rest of it is pretty much entirely reused from the other two figures in the line, which I am totally fine with. But those new additions and the brand new color scheme kind of make this guy look like a figure that's completely different to the other two releases. Now for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here we have the Sentinel Fighting Armor line to date. Now they have teased a bunch more releases, which is honestly getting me really excited. I can't wait for the Wolverine, the Thor, the Loki, and whoever else they put out, but for now these three look sensational. I love how different they look, where they're actually very, very similar. They share a ton more parts than they have different between them. Now, the color scheme also goes a long way to making them look completely different, but it also does make them mesh very well on the same shelf, the fact that they do have a ton of shared parts. So pretty much these are just all around standout figures. I love the way they look individually, but standing together all in some badass poses, this is going to be one hell of a display. And if you're wondering what these Sentinel figures look like alongside some figure arts, just to give you an idea of scale in case you don't own any of the others, here is Shang-Chi from SH Figure Arts. And as you can see, the Sentinel figure is significantly taller, which to me 
kind of makes sense because Deadpool is now inside a fully armored suit, so it would add height and it would add bulk. So yes, he is taller, but I still consider this to be relatively in scale. Maybe slightly too big, but overall, yeah, this is in the right realm. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how he'll scale in your collection. Just going over articulation. Now bear in mind this is my personal copy of the figure, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm sure when you get yours in hand, you can push the joints slightly further than I'm willing to go. Now starting off with the head sculpt, just like the other fighting armor figures, it's kind of on this swivel, where only the front faceplate of the helmet moves back, but you do get an insane range of motion. Same thing with going forward. You also have swivel and a ton of pivot side to side. The arms themselves will go up the full way, they will swivel forward and back, you have a butterfly joint at the shoulder, a swivel at the bicep, double bend at the elbow that does get you past 90, then a hinge and swivel for the wrist. The torso does have multiple joints crunching forward to there, crunching back to there, swivel and a ton of pivot side to side. The legs will go forward to there, you do have a drop down at the thigh to get even more range. They will go out to there, but if you have the pistols and the shuriken on the belt, then yes, they do unfortunately collide. You have a swivel at the thigh, when you drop it down it does swivel just a little bit more. A double bend at the knee, down here at the ankle, a hinge and swivel for some pivot side to side, and lastly some toe articulation. Just wrapping up on Sentinel fighting armor Deadpool. Now if you're a fan of dope toys, this is that. It's basically the ultimate combination of Deadpool, die-cast figures, and Iron Man all rolled into one fantastic badass package. I love this figure. In fact, I love this line. I cannot wait for their next release. The paint applications are crisp and clean and metallic. He's hefty, he's made of metal, he comes with awesome accessories, and the posability is outstanding. So yeah, this is another home run. This line doesn't get enough love in my opinion. I hope that more and more people start discovering these figures because they really are that good. If you don't believe me, just go ahead and pick one up and then let me know what you think of it after you've received it. I'm pretty sure you're going to be blown away the same way I was when I unboxed that initial Captain America release. Now I picked up mine from ToysWonderland.com, link for that is down in the description below. They have 12 month installment plans and an awesome reward system. While you are down there, check out the link to Six Scale Network, the Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.